Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. All right, so today, this is an actual interesting video. I know I always keep saying that crap, but this is real. It's interesting. We're going to do a lot of stuff, uh, starting with the snorkel. So you just saw me walk by. Uh, the snorkel has got a hole cut in it. And we see I've got some fiberglass cloth out. So what's happening is that the snorkel, as I've mentioned before, sits slightly higher up on the x-axis than a standard engine, sump, air, inlet combination. And because of that, uh, it's sort of bumping up against the starter. So in order to give some space to alleviate that, we've cut a hole in the snorkel and we are sort of engineering a little bit of a dip there. You can see there with the shadow and the light, the little dip that we're engineering in. So we're going to cover with a few pieces of cloth to make sure it's sealed. And then we will let that cure and keep on moving on. Next up on the hit list today is we're going to start prepping the lower wing flanges. So the lower wing flanges are the strips of metal that go between the wings and the fuselage. The upper ones are the ones that have the stiffeners on them because you're going to be walking on them. These are for the lower ones, and here we are marking where they're going to get bent as they were going to wrap around the front of the wing. We will get into, uh, into bending them later. Just doing some deburring now. All right, so for the rest of the video, there you can just see the McMaster car bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the connector pins for the lower parts of the baffles. So each set of baffles for the front and the back of the cylinders are connected by two stainless steel pins. Um, to get them from Vans, you have to actually order the firewall forward kit, which I did not. So I simply ordered these from McMaster car. I want to say it's 0 0.210 inch stainless steel pin. I don't remember the diameter exactly. Anyway, what you do is you cut them into specific lengths. You're going to put specific bins on them. You can see I've got them in the vise, and I've got a little level indicator there. And you just hammer them into submission. And then you tap each end for a 632 uh, thread. Then they will simply slip between. So there's holes in these flanges on both sides of the uh, baffles. You'll slip the rod in between, and then there will be um, a washer and a tiny jet nut on each side. And that, let me tell you, those little 632 jet nuts are tiny. They are absolutely tiny. And you need a 3 16 inch uh, socket to put them on. Now, the problem is long reach sockets that small generally aren't drilled all the way through and there's actually a cap in so it won't fit so you have to use like the short versions that actually let it all the way through which I I'd, I'd show it to you but I I'm too tired just trust me it's it's a bit of a pain all right let's see what else we've got any updates uh no I mean everything is here uh just trying to finish up just trying to get this damn thing done. Going back up for the rest of my transition training uh, in about three weeks, back up to Oregon. Gonna have a blast. I'm telling you, and anyone that starts losing motivation, you know how you get your motivation back? Go fly in one of these planes. Holy crap. All right, so now with those done, next thing on the list is we are taking these baffles, and if you look very closely, you can actually see the hole in those flanges on the far left of that baffle. We are marking off with some masking tape here, and we're going to take some RTV, and we're going to spread it all over the baffles where it contacts the cylinders. Uh, these cylinders get hot, they rattle around, and you don't want them to degrade your baffles any faster than necessary. So we've cleaned all the metal off, we're using some really nice, uh, I've got some high quality painters tape there, and then we're going to just gently spread the RTV on. Actually, when I say RTV, it's actually high temp RTV, uh, known as Permatex. So simply spreading it on from the tube and then using my finger and finger painting like I'm five. 
I guess, and it goes without saying, be very careful with this stuff because it gets sticky. And if you touch your sleeve to it, your sleeve will have Permatex on it forever. Sure, you can get most of it off. Some of it's always going to stay behind. And now for the other side. All right, next video, more fun things. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.